Hi everyone, I'm Ellie, founder of Code of the Future, and today I'm going to be continuing with the Matplotlib tutorial series for beginners by showing you how you can create a simple plot and a straight line in Python. So I'm going to put my glasses on as usual and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, perfect. So we'll start from where we left off uh, in the previous video. So I'll just delete this here because we don't need it. So what we have here is we're importing the relevant modules and what's really important is that you import matplotlib.pyplot as plt before you do anything in this video. Before you can get started plotting, you need to write this very important line here. And if you're unsure on how to install matplotlib, then I've mentioned that in my previous video. So check that out if you can install matplotlib onto your computer. Okay, so it turns out that matplotlib is not the only library that we need today. We're also going to import numpy as np. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what NumPy is, it's essentially like a data analysis library. I've done videos on my channel before, but you don't need to know anything about NumPy before we go into this video, as I'll explain what's going on in each step. So it's important that you import these two things here. And now all I'm gonna say is creating simple arrays. So an array very simply is, is very similar to a list. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say x equals np.array. So this is creating a numpy array and we're going to put two brackets in here we're going to say 0, 100. So what this is doing is it's creating an array from 0 to 100. So if I was to print x and I will run this script or we'll click map plot tutorial series. Okay so it's going to print x. Okay perfect so there we go it's printed this array and the array is essentially like a list but it doesn't have these commas in it so if you are a little bit confused by what you know numpy array is there is a video on my channel so check that out if you're interested but you don't really need to know much about it in order to understand how this video works so this is creating an array we'll just delete this here and we're just going to assign a new array to y so we're going to say num np dot array and we're going to have let's say zero to four okay so what we have is these two arrays now I'm going to plot these two arrays using matplotlib and the way that you do that I'm just going to put plot plotting x and y very very simply you just say plt dot plot x comma y now if I run this notice that nothing happens it says process finished with exit code zero nothing happens and you're probably thinking well why is that the case when I've said plot x and y what's really worth remembering in matplotlib is you always need to write plt.show in order to see the graph. This is applicable to any graph that you plot. So you're just going to put plt.show and now when I run this, hopefully it'll move over here. Perfect, look at that. We have our very first plot in matplotlib. And notice what it's done is it's taken the point here, 0, 0, and here we have 4, 100. So you may think, hmm, those numbers sound very familiar. Those are the numbers that we inputted into here. So what we have is along the x-axis, we have 0, 100. So we have these two points. So along the x-axis, we have 0 and we have 100. And what matplotlib does is it will take these two numbers and match it with these two numbers here. So essentially, you'll have 0, 0, which is what we see here, 0, 0. And you'll also have 100, 4. So we have 100 and four, there. So, perfect, we've basically taken two different points. We have zero, zero, 104, and it's plotted them. So I'll just make sure here I'll put, you know, this shows the plot. Now what's really worth mentioning is if I was to write here y and x, and I was to rerun this, notice how the coordinates have changed. We have zero, zero, as usual, but instead of 100 down here, we have four, and then we have 100 over here. So what's really worth remembering is that whatever you put in here, the first argument, so y, so I'll just put here, the first is called an argument. An argument is essentially what you put into certain brackets. So the first argument is the x-axis, and the second argument is the y-axis. So notice that even though I called this the you know y, I put it first, it made it the x-axis. So it's worth remembering that whatever you put in here first, and I'll just put it back to x and y so you understand, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, 
And similarly, when you start to do things like 3D graphs, which I won't be showing in this tutorial series, it's a little bit too complicated, you can put an extra argument and you just put Z in there. But obviously we're not touching upon that one today. So there you go, that is how you plot a very, very simple line in Matplotlib. I'm making these videos you know, step by step, showing you how to do things because I understand, you know, sometimes it can get a little bit overwhelming when you're learning a new Python library. So I'm making sure these videos are very guided and very easy for you to understand. So we have plotted a very, very cool plot. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how you can plot several different plots. So you could have, you know, lines looking like this, which will look crazy. So that has been the video today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to support this channel even further, then hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification with it. So you don't miss out on any future videos on my channel. And also check out the donation link that I've put in the description box. If you could give this video a big thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Comment any questions you have in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.